Top 7 Cast Members That Died From The Movie Franchise Friday We all need something to laugh at from time to time, and comedies bring us much needed laughter. When talking about comedies, the Friday comedy film franchise is something we can't help but remember. From memes to one-liners and uncontrollable laughter even in the mid of all that madness, all Friday films still remain the top black cult classics even after 25 years. Yet, we can't forget the cast members who made it all possible. While they gave us so much to laugh about, it seems like some of the cast members left us too soon. Here are the top 7 cast members that died from the movie franchise Friday. Number 7. Justin Pierce. Justin Charles Pierce was a British actor and a skateboarder who grew up in the US. He is best known for his roles in the 1995 film Kids and as Roach in the 2000 film Next Friday. Pierce was born in London, England to a Welsh mother and an Australian father. Pierce's parents divorced when he was 15. After his parents' divorce, he began stealing cigarettes and food and frequently missed school in favor of skateboarding. Pierce soon quit school and moved out, staying in a warren of rooms in a basement of a building on 176th Street that was teeming with fellow skaters. Pierce was later arrested for possession of heroin. He was a member of the original Zoo York skateboard team and is featured in the Zoo York mixed-up video, 1998, magazines, and adverts for the company. Pierce was discovered by film director Larry Clark, who cast him in his controversial 1995 film Kids. After the success of Kids, Pierce won an Independent Spirit Award. Pierce also appeared in television movies, he also starred alongside Ice Cube and Mike Epps in the film Next Friday as Roach. On July 10, 2000, Pierce was found hanging in his room at the Bellagio Hotel by hotel security. His death was determined to be suicide. Two suicide notes were reported to be found, which have not been released to the public. Number 6. Lawanda Page. Lawanda Page was born Alberta Peel on October 19, 1920. She was an American comedian and actress who has a minor role as a Jehovah's Witness on Friday. Page attended Banakir Elementary School. She began her show business career dancing at age 15. Paige later worked in small nightclubs billed as the Bronze Goddess of Fire, an act that included Paige eating fire and lighting cigarettes with her fingertips. She is best known for her role as Esther Anderson, the religious but sharp-tongued sister-in-law of Fred Sanford in the NBC sitcom Sanford and Son. She appeared in many films including, Friday. She also appeared in many television series in her career. Paige was married three times, the first being at the age of 14. She died at the age of 81 due to complications from diabetes on September 14, 2002. Number 5. Bernard Jeffrey McCullough. Bernard Jeffrey McCullough was better known by his stage name Bernie Mac. He was an American comedian, actor, and voice actor. Born and raised on Chicago's South Side, Mac gained popularity as a stand-up comedian. Mac worked in the Regal Theater and performed in Chicago parks in his younger days. He became a professional comedian in 1977, at the age of 19. He refused to change his image for Hollywood and said that his life in Chicago was who he was and there was nothing that could change that. He was a mature comedian who was very intelligent and engaging in his television, film, and stand-up appearances. He played a small role in 1994's House Party 3 as Uncle Vester. Mac played Mr. Johnson the no-nonsense owner of a grill and diner in the movie BAPS, and he got his big break as Pastor Clever in Ice Cube's 1995 film Friday. In 2008, Mac was admitted to the Northwestern Memorial Hospital in his hometown of Chicago. After a week of unsuccessful medical treatment, Mac went into cardiac arrest and subsequently died during the early morning on August 9. Mac's public funeral was held a week after his death at the House of Hope Church, with nearly 7,000 people in attendance. Number 4. Yvette Renee Wilson. Yvette Renee Wilson was an American comedian and actress. She was known for her role as Andel Wilkerson, the shopkeeper of the local hangout on the UPN sitcom Moshe. Her big break came with The, a short-lived sitcom from 1993 to 1994. The was cancelled after 19 episodes, but the show helped her get a role in House Party 3. In addition, Wilson also had a minor role in the 1995 comedy movie Friday as Smokey's Blind Date. Wilson was married to record producer Jerome Harry from 2001 until her death in 2012 when it was discovered that unbeknownst to her he had neglected to file divorce papers years earlier. Wilson suffered from kidney disease, having survived a kidney transplant and regular dialysis, but eventually lost a battle with cervical cancer. She died at the age of 48 after battling cervical cancer and kidney failure on June 14, 2012. 
Number 3. Ronaldo Ray. Ronaldo Ray was born on January 27, 1940. He was an American actor, comedian, and television personality. He launched his career in comedy, going on the road with the OJs. He then moved to New York City, where he was invited to join the Harlem Theatre Group. While a member of the group, he appeared in his first movie. From there he performed in Europe, Asia, and Africa for two years. Ray has appeared in 52 movies, including Friday. He also has 32 television shows to his credit, including Bet's Comic View, on which he was a co-host. Ray died on May 28, 2015, at the age of 75. Number 2. John Witherspoon. Witherspoon was born on January 27, 1942, in Detroit, Michigan. He later changed his last name from Witherspoon to Witherspoon. Witherspoon was one of 11 siblings. He was married to Angela Robinson Witherspoon. They have two sons, John David and Alexander. John Witherspoon was an American actor and comedian who performed in various television shows and films. He is best remembered for his role as Willie Jones for the Friday series. His first television appearance was on the 1970s CBS television show Barnaby Jones. In 1977, he became a regular on the series The Richard Pryor Show. He also starred in a couple of music videos, including Jay-Z's I Just Wanna Love You, Give It To Me. Witherspoon worked occasionally as a model. During the 1960s and 1970s, he began to take a liking towards comedy. During that time, he began his stand-up comedy career. Witherspoon died of a heart attack at his home in Sherman Oaks, California, on October 29, 2019. He was 77 years old. Number 1. Tommy Lister Jr. Lister was born on June 24, 1958, in Compton, California, to Tommy and Mildred Faye Lister. Ever since his birth, he had a deformed and detached retina in his right eye, causing permanent blindness. He was an American character actor and occasional professional wrestler best known as Debo from Friday. Debo was the neighborhood bully and antagonist to Ice Cube's character, Craig Jones. He reprised the role in the film's sequel, Next Friday, but did not appear in the third film of the series, Friday After Next. He had two short professional wrestling stints, with Hulk Hogan in the World Wrestling Federation, after appearing as Zeus in the 1989 movie No Holds Barred. On August 31, 2012, Lister agreed to plead guilty to conspiring to commit mortgage fraud in a scheme that led to $3.8 million in losses. He was charged with fraudulently buying homes in order to withdraw $1.1 million in home equity loans. As of April 2014, he was out on bail and confident of avoiding prison. He stated, what's so cool about God and our government is that you can make a mistake and they will forgive you if you're just a good person and doing right. By age 55, Lister had type 2 diabetes. Lister was diagnosed with COVID-19 around August 2020 and overcame the illness. He became ill with symptoms similar to COVID-19. On December 10, police who were called to check on Lister found him dead in his home in Marina del Rey, California. He was 62 years old. The coroner's office is investigating his cause of death.